Okay, we are now going to look at 1.2. So it says, Annex to B shows the individual tax rates for the 2016 and 2017 tax year. So we know automatically this is going to be a tax question. Students often battle with these questions, but these are great questions to practice because they're often for quite a lot of marks. Okay. One of the SANBS directors, who is 68 years old, remember it's important when we get to tax to consider the age because of the tax rebates, um, earned a taxable income of 663000 during the 2016-2017 tax year. Calculate the total income tax this director has to pay on his annual taxable income. It says ignore medical aid credits, right? So basically, we're not going to account for medical aid credits at all. We're just going to work out the tax, do the rebates, and that will be his taxable, his total income tax. Okay, let's do that. So let's go to Annex B, okay? So we know he earns, how much does he earn? 663000. So where is he going to be taxed? He's taxed in that bracket, okay? So let's figure out how this is going to work. So we're going to say his, let me make sure you can see, the taxable income equals 663000, okay? Just to write that down, okay? Then we're going to say that his tax, his tax, um, taxable income, sorry, his taxable income is interesting, right? So we, over here, right, right, it says this much plus 39% of the amount that is above that amount, right? So we say, okay, we know he's going to pay the 147,996 plus 39% times, right, and then put in brackets, the amount that he gets as his taxable income minus this amount, right? The 550100. Okay. Now you could be saying, Marks, I don't understand why we do this. Well, think about it, right? They're basically saying this is the amount of tax that he pays on the first 550100 that he owns, right? We've accounted for that tax. All we're saying is this 39% is on the amount that he earns above that amount, right? Which is the amount that he earns in total minus that amount. And that's how you calculate tax, okay? So let's now put this into our calculator, okay? So we are going to say 147,996 plus 39% times bracket 66, oh, sorry, 3000 minus 550, okay? Okay, so that is the amount that he is going to pay in tax. But this is before rebates. Okay, so that's before any rebates. But we know that everyone gets at least the primary rebates. And our director, right, is 68. So he's going to get both of these rebates. Okay, he's not going to get the tertiary one because he's only 68. You have to be over 75 to get that one. But we're basically going to subtract both of these from the amount we just calculated to get his taxable income. Okay, or his income tax, sorry. So this is not his taxable income. This is actually his income tax, right? Because his taxable income is the amount he earns. This is his income tax. So now we're going to say income tax. Um, minus rebates, subtract rebates. So we're going to say 192027. Subtract the primary rebate. Subtract the secondary rebate. Okay. So put that in. And that is how much he is going to pay in tax to SARS. Okay, so that is his income tax. Does that make sense? Okay, let's now move on to 1.3.